You've been in a unique position that you've been able to meet a number of U.S. presidents, such as Kennedy, Johnson, and Clinton, and others. Uh, could you give us just a one-sentence impression of a few of them based on your personal experience with them? Oh, I don't want to give a... Uh, that's dangerous when you get into these one, <laughs> these uh, abbreviated views of, of people like that because I think anybody who has been a president of the United States, uh, they're all very, very capable and at the same time very, very complex people. And to try and characterize them with a, a statement or a... I think we're all that way, in effect. Uh, I think is I doubt if anyone could uh, could any one of your friends could give a one a one phrase description of you, either one of you, that you would be happy with. And I'm sure past presidents wouldn't like it. I, I, if there's one thing, and I think back to uh, people have asked me about President Kennedy in particular because I knew him fairly well, and uh, Bobby Kennedy. And that's about the president. If one thing that I think was uh, that I would say I, was uh, sort of a, a hallmark of his, and it's something that I think is a hallmark of most great people, and that is curiosity. He wasn't just set on government and just a government program that he had advocated during the election process. He was curious about everything. And the same thing with people like Werner von Braun, people like that. You think of you think of them. They, they, People tend to think of those folks as being channeled in a very narrow, certain area, like Kennedy in one area, and government, von Braun, all for rockets, things like that. If there's one thing I think I've found is that people that are the most productive people are people who are curious. Curiosity is just a way of life with them. They just automatically think in terms of how can we make a better doorknob? And how can we, uh, is that lock on that door, could it, is there one way to make a better lock out of that thing? Or what? They're just sort of curious people. And I think when you mentioned Von Braun, uh, the first uh, time the seven astronauts went to Huntsville, when we first were selected, the first group, and uh, Von Braun was running the Huntsville thing then, and everybody thought of him as the big rocket expert, which he was. And I thought, when, and he invited us to his home for dinner, and I thought when we went in his little library, I thought, well, this place will be full of nothing but math books and, and, uh, and uh, you know, talk about trade. This is the man's soul. And, and uh, things like that, and, and uh, uh, on rocketry and science, and that would be his library. And so I was looking at the books in his little library, and there were very few books on engineering. But he had all kinds of books on religion, and comparative religious, religion philosophies, comparative uh, comparative religion. And uh, and he was wide read in, uh, in literature. And that was what his, and you, you talked to him about uh, a certain philosophy, and he just lined up and started talking about it. He was curious about everything around him, and I think most people that are accomplishing things are those types of people. Uh, president Kennedy, when I uh, they asked me to go brief him before my flight, he was president then, and uh, so I thought he was president of the United States. So you know, I, I went in, and I didn't. I thought he wouldn't want to know about all the detailed things, and so I went in, and, and uh, we were in the uh, office, and. And so I describe things a little bit, and I give a general thing. Here's what we plan to do in general terms in orbit. And then he'd ask very detailed questions about, no, but how are you going to do this? And how are you going to control it? What's the hand controller doing? Things like that. And so after a little while, I, I said, Mr. President, I, I gather you want to know this in more detail, and I came prepared if you want. If you like, I'll come back in a couple of weeks, if we make some time. I'll come back in a couple of weeks with some models and things. We really go into this in detail. And uh, he wanted to do that, and so I did that. I got time off from our training and took the models and went back in in the cabinet room. We set them up on the, in the big long table in the cabinet room there, and I brought back. Uh, I had blueprints and I had the whole screen. And he was very interested in all the details of this thing. And uh, then later on, after the flight was over, and he came down to the Cape when I came back in after the flight. Well, he came down to the Cape, and we had the spacecraft there. It had been brought back. And was there with the, uh, the uh, port off of it, so he could look in. And he remembered a lot of the things in. Said that you told me it was going to. Have, how did it actually a operate in flight? Because you told me so and so and so and so. And he was very curious about things at that kind of level. And I think most people that are accomplishing things have curiosity almost as a way of life. They're curious about everything around the air, trees, and environment, and the school, and just the whole bit.